Adding components, the basics. Though the IDEs GUI Builder simplifies the process of creating Java GUIs, it is often helpful to sketch out the way you want your interface to look before beginning to lay it out. Since we already added a JFrame as our form's top-level container, the next step is to add a couple of JPanels which will enable us to cluster the components of our UI using title borders. To add a JPanel, in the Palette window select the Panel component from the Swing Containers category. Move the cursor to the upper left corner of the form in the GUI Builder. Notice horizontal and vertical alignment guidelines indicating the preferred margins. Click in the form to place the JPanel in this location. The JPanel component appears in the Contact Editor UI form, with orange highlighting signifying that it is selected. Small indicators appear to show the component's anchoring relationships. A corresponding JPanel node is displayed in the Inspector window. Next, we need to resize the JPanel to make room for the components we'll place within it a little later. To resize the JPanel, select the JPanel you just added. The small square resize handles reappear around the component's perimeter. Click and hold the resize handle on the right edge of the JPanel and drag until the dotted alignment guideline appears near the form's edge. Release the resize handle to resize the component. The JPanel component is extended to span between the container's left and right margins in accordance with the recommended offset. Now that we've added a panel to contain our UI's name information, we need to repeat the process to add another panel directly below the first one for the email information. Notice that the suggested vertical spacing between the two JPanels is much narrower than that at the edges. Follow the video and repeat the previous two tasks, paying attention to the GUI Builder's suggested positioning. Once you have added the second JPanel, resize it such as it fills the form's remaining vertical space. Because we want to visually distinguish the functions in the upper and lower sections of our GUI, we need to add a border and title to each JPanel. First, we'll accomplish this using the Properties window, and then we'll try it using the pop-up menu. To add title borders to the JPanels, select the top JPanel in the GUI Builder. In the Properties window, click the Ellipses button next to the Border property. In the JPanel Border Editor that appears, select the Title Border node in the Available Borders pane. In the Properties pane below, enter Name for the Title property. Click the Ellipses next to the Font property. Select Bold for the font style and Enter 12 for the size. Click OK to exit the dialogs. Select the bottom J panel and repeat steps 2 through 8, but this time right click the J panel and access the Properties window using the pop up menu. Enter email for the title property. Title borders are added to both JPanel components, visually distinguishing the functions in the upper and lower sections of our GUI. Adding individual components to the form. Now we need to start adding the components that will actually present the information of the contacts in our contact list. In this task, we'll add four J text fields that will display the contact information and the J labels that will describe them. While accomplishing this, notice the horizontal and vertical guidelines that the GUI Builder displays, suggesting the preferred component spacing, as defined by your operating system's look and feel. In the Palette window, select the Label component from the Swing Controls category. Move the cursor over the name JPanel we added earlier. When the guidelines appear, indicating that the J-label is positioned in the top left corner of the JPanel with a small margin at the top and left edges, click to place the label. The J-label is added to the form and a corresponding node representing the component is added to the Inspector window. Before going further, we need to edit the display text of the J label we just added. Though you can edit component display text at any point, the easiest way is to do this as you add them. To edit the display text of a J label, double click the J label to select its display text. Type first name and press enter. The J label's new name is displayed and the component's width adjusts as a result of the edit.
Now we'll add a JText field, so we can get a glimpse of the GUI Builder's baseline alignment feature. To add a JText field to the form, in the Palette window, select the Text Field component from the Swing Controls category. Move the cursor immediately to the right of the first name J label we just added. When the horizontal guideline appears, indicating that the JText field's baseline is aligned with that of the J label, and the spacing between the two components is suggested with the vertical guideline, click to position the JText field. The JText field snaps into position in the form aligned with the J label's baseline. As usual, a node representing the component is added to the inspector window. Before proceeding further, we need to add an additional JLabel and JText field immediately to the right of those we just added. This time, enter last name as the JLabel's display text and leave the JText field's placeholder text as it is. To resize the JText field, select the JText field we just added to the right of the last name J label. Drag the JText field's right edge resize handle toward the right edge of the enclosing J panel. When the vertical alignment guidelines appear, suggesting the margin between the text field and right edge of the J panel, release the mouse button to resize the JText field. The JText field's right edge snaps into alignment with the J panel's recommended edge margin, as shown. Now we'll add the title and nickname J-labels that describe two J-text fields that we are going to add in a minute. We'll drag and drop the components while pressing the Shift key to quickly add them to the form. While accomplishing this, again, notice that the GUI Builder displays horizontal and vertical guidelines suggesting the preferred component spacing. To add multiple J-labels to the form, in the palette, select the label component from the Swing Controls category by clicking and releasing the mouse button. Move the cursor over the form directly below the first name J-label we added earlier. When the guidelines appear indicating that the new J-label's left edge is aligned with that of the J-label above and a small margin exists between them, shift-click to place the first J-label. While still pressing the shift key, click to place another J-label immediately to the right of the first. Make certain to release the shift key prior to positioning the second J-label. The J-labels are added to the form, creating a second row. Nodes representing each component are added to the inspector window. Before moving on, we need to edit the J labels' names so that we'll be able to see the effect of the alignments we'll set later. To edit the display text of J labels, double click the first J label to select its display text. Type title and press enter. Repeat steps 1 through 3, entering nickname for the second J labels' name property. The J-Label's new names are displayed in the form and are shifted as a result of their edited widths. 